And there's a first time for everything. This is the first time in my 11 years that I've had to sleep in the airport. Shanae about to bundle up with some extra leggings. I'm about to double up my clothes. You guys know I don't normally do this, but this, <laughs> this shit is whack. So what happened was our flight at, got delayed from 10 p.m. to 1, and at 1, they canceled our flight. We got rebooked for first thing in the morning. Hard to book hotels last minute, and so we just decided to just and There's take no one rooms for the team. available for everybody, so half of us stayed at the airport and half of us went to the hotel. So here we are. LA Spark star and WNBPA president Neka Agumake let us know on Twitter of the team's eventful night in Virginia. Yeah, so we are roaming the airport. It's the first time in my 11 seasons that I've ever had to sleep in the airport. But based on travel, it's not expected that this has happened. It's basically, it was only a matter of time. So half of us are sleeping in the airport, half of us are at a hotel. There weren't enough rooms. After our flight got delayed, delayed, delayed then canceled. Delayed, delayed, and then canceled at 1 a.m. And then rebooked for first thing in the morning. So it is now 1.44. And we're here till 9 a.m. I doubled up my clothes, y'all. Getting cozy. Yes. Ogumake and sister Shanae walked the halls of the airport after their flight was canceled and they could not get out till the following morning. Coach Latricia Trammell gave us a view of their beds on Instagram and uh, it doesn't look great. We know that uh, the travel has been a thorn in the league side in terms of its relationship with taking care of its players for a while. But today, more than ever, that phrase competitive balance uh, sort of struck me because making these teams fly commercial doesn't necessarily, as we see, achieve a competitive balance either uh, because you are now subject to the elements. I think NECA is one who is very deliberate and intentional about her words as the president of the WNBA Players Player Association. Um, and when she says that this was only a matter of time, that is eerily painful and highly unacceptable. Um, this is something that needs to be rectified immediately. I know that there are arrangements this year for the finals teams to charter, but that's just simply not enough. This is unacceptable, and obviously the game will not be moved to take into consideration what the Sparks had to go through. But with six, what, five, six teams separated by a game and this late push in terms of the playoffs, this is unacceptable. Per ESPN, the Sparks boarded the Monday morning flight and were back in L.A. by around noon. They will host the Connecticut Sun on Tuesday night as the WNBA finishes its last week of the regular season. Multiple sources told ESPN that every Sparks player actually was offered a hotel room, but not all at the same hotel because a limited number of rooms were available. But because of the late hour and need to be back at the airport with such a short turnaround time for the rescheduled flight, some players opted to stay at the airport. Sparks player Lexi Brown also confirmed that via social media. The Guardian wrote Trammell used the hashtag charter, a reference to the fact that WNBA teams are required to take commercial flights. NBA and top college teams usually fly on private jets. The WNBA fined the New York Liberty last year after the team chartered private jets for some games, as it is considered an unfair advantage over other franchises with smaller budgets. The WNBA's commissioner, Kathy Engelbert, said in March that chartering flights would cost around $20 million a year and jeopardize the financial health of the league, which lacks the huge broadcasting deals that help support the NBA. WNBA players fly commercial which has sparked outcry as travel woes plagued the league in recent seasons in an effort to prevent teams with more money from having the quote-unquote unfair advantage the league's current cba does not allow travel by charter so here's the thing these issues have now become paramount for professional basketball players and the wnba should be addressing these it should take precedent immediately so this doesn't happen again the chicago sky also had to sleep in an airport earlier this season, while Olympic champion Kelsey Plum said flight delays contributed to her team, the Las Vegas Aces, losing to the Mystics in May. In the same month, the Connecticut Sun canceled a practice session after their flight was delayed into the early hours of the following morning. Meanwhile, 
Some players argue that Flying Commercial has put their health and careers at risk during the COVID-19 pandemic. Ogumake, meanwhile, is going a step further. And she is demanding action. She's calling on the league to take action, saying in a statement, a lot has changed in the commercial travel landscape since we negotiated our current CBA, referring to the collective bargaining agreement that took effect in 2020. The WNBA's most recent CBA signed in January 2020 doesn't include charters and league rules prohibit any of the 12 teams from individually opting to charter as that could create the competitive disadvantage that the league is clinging to. The WNBPA released a statement on Twitter from Ogumake calling for the league to permit teams to invest in charter flights between games beginning with the entire 2022 WNBA playoffs and continuing with a common sense full season solution beginning in 2023. According to the flight tracking website Flight Aware, it was a miserable weekend to fly, and I also found that out this past weekend, as 951 flights were canceled Sunday across the U.S., and more than 8,000 flights Sunday were delayed.